Cleveland is crawling with basketball fans tonight, taking advantage of an off night on the NCAA schedule. That means Kentucky and Notre Dame fans spent the night taking in Cleveland. News Channel 5's John Kosick is live downtown to show us what they did today. Yeah, on the off day of the tournament, there aren't any big planned events, and this guy and his team are out of town. But that's not to say these fans didn't find plenty to do. East 4th Street buzzing tonight. Bars like Harry Buffalo packed with Kentucky fans sizing up potential next round opponents. Of course, the Notre Dame fans across the street at Flannery's have something to say about that. What they have in common, though, is time. An off day to see Cleveland. The Christmas Story House seeing five times their normal crowd today after they were recommended on a Kentucky fan page. Whoever's doing the, the advertising, you know, down at the schools, you know, it did a great job of, you know, selling Cleveland to the people coming up here to see the teams. That's what tipped Sam off. His next stop on this Cleveland trip, three and a half hours away. We're actually driving up to Buffalo to see, look at Niagara Falls. Okay. Then we're coming back tomorrow night for the game. Like many, the Bloyds took in the Rock Hall today. Next up, the casino and... I would love to go to the art museum tomorrow before the game. We'll have to nudge you. <laughs> <laughs> Ed? <laughs> well, I guess we'll go to the art museum. These Notre Dame fans from Boston say their day was spent recuperating from last night. They plan to get an early start tomorrow, and like so many, they like what they see. The old style building, the kind of way it's spread out, then you get you know the downtown stuff, pretty cool. And here's the thing, tomorrow night's tip-off for Kentucky Notre Dame isn't until 849, which means plenty of time during the day to take in more of the town. Reporting live at the Cube, John Kosick, News Channel 5.